So earlier, I used to only read and reread my notes or books, and that alone used to take up a lot of time. I found myself not having enough time to enjoy the things in life a little, and I was still struggling to remember the information. Then I added flashcards to my study routine, and it changed the things for the better for me. Hey friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Nikhil, and today I'm going to be talking about how I use flashcards, or more broadly speaking, the concept of active recall and spaced repetition, and how I use this to make remembering stuff more fun and more efficient. You may already have heard of this, or you may be entirely new to this concept. Either way, I'm going to explain this concept a little bit in this video. I'll first talk a little about what it is. my experience with it and how it can also be used to study for neat pg let's get started so firstly here i'm going to talk about what we generally do that is we just only read and reread notes and why that is not very efficient now don't get me wrong here i'm not saying that reading and rereading is absolutely useless i'm just saying that uh, it is only useful for the initial understanding of the topic when you're reading it the first time but later down the road when you decide that you now want to remember this stuff and be able to recall it that time just reading and rereading is basically a form of passive learning now i'm sure many of you must have also experienced this often while reading i used to phase out or zone out and in that brief period of time i used to think that i am reading and i'm getting information in my head but actually i was not really understanding anything i was like you know passive reading and i found myself reading and rereading a single page over and over again and still not getting any information inside my head and it took an awful long amount of time to do a single page so this way you're giving more time to reread but retaining less of it and then you wonder why am i not getting good results despite giving so much time to it and that is where flashcards come in so what are flashcards and what is active recall and spaced repetition so basically flashcards are a method of studying or memorizing in general where you are displayed a question on the screen but you are not displayed the answer you have to read the question and you have to recall the answer yourself and then afterwards you hit a certain button or maybe you flip over the flashcard to reveal the answer now this is based on the concept of active recall which is basically the principle that says that you can remember and retain information more if you try to retrieve it out of your brain rather than putting it inside your brain there's a lot of evidence also about this now another layer that you can add to this is spaced repetition where you repeat your flashcards especially your weak ones after a certain amount of time when you are about to forget them now I'll not spend a lot of time explaining this concept because it has already been explained in detail by some youtubers like for example ali abdal uh, i'll link his video down in the description here i'll talk more about what my experience with it was now how do flashcards work so what flashcards do is basically they force you to do active recall if you think of this this is actually nothing new this is what most of us used to do in school time anyway remember how in school you used to have workbooks and in, in the end of every chapter there used to be a question and answer section where there used to be a question and then there used to be space to write answers you would write answers there and then while uh, while you were trying to read them or uh, rather learn them what you would do is you would basically hide the answers with maybe your hand or with maybe a small uh, chip block or something and then you used to recall that answer to yourself until you get it fully right and then you used to remove your hand and then check the answer to see whether you got all the points right or not sounds familiar right now there are uh, apps available for this like anki quizlet but these aren't very well known in the indian medical community and they aren't very commonly used in contrast to us and uk where medical students use these tools very frequently now i'll talk a little about my experience with flashcards and when did i start it now i started using flashcards towards the end of 2020 that is towards the end of my final year actually when i was in final year the covid pandemic happened and we all went into lockdown so i used some of the time in lockdown to research about some efficient study techniques and that was when i had come across ali abdal's videos about active recall so i decided to try it and give it short while also reading my main content from my notes and books so initially i used the flashcards feature on the good notes app on the ipad and this is a very popular app that most medical students with ipads use and that time this flashcards feature was in the experimental stage in good notes but now they have rolled out an update where they have made this flashcards feature into a full fledged section inside the app now at that time i made flashcards of mainly obgyn only and i began doing them now after a while of doing them i found obgyn to be a lot easier than before in fact when i started my pg profession properly shortly before internship ended i did not read obgyn properly for a very very long time and it still used to be the topmost subjects in my grand tests that was when it began to hit me that the flashcards are a really brilliant tool now fast forward to just 2 months before the inic in november 2022 that is when i started to use the anki app side by side with my regular notes reading now this anki is an app that is available on windows on macos on android as well as on ipad i researched a little bit and i started making my own flashcards on the app 
adding to it the info that i found more difficult or more volatile and then i started doing them daily now regarding how to use this app exactly that will take some more time maybe that will be for some other video if you're interested in such a video then drop it in the comment section down below but what you basically do is that you open the anki app and you do a certain number of flashcards every day in a random order and their algorithm decides when to show what flashcard based on how difficult you found it the last time you did it so this is basically delegating the space repetition aspect to anki so that you don't have to huddle for it anyway with that i slowly found myself being able to remember some more difficult information in a more efficient and fun manner and so i continued making more and more flashcards and i made it a part of my everyday routine in inct november 2022 exam as far as i can recall i got around 3 to 4 questions right because they were in my flashcards now actually i started using flashcards pretty late and it was a little risky because it could have disrupted my existing study schedule and this was a mistake that actually has to be avoided that is do not go for any new resource close to the exam as i've also mentioned in my video about the neat pg 2023 analysis but eh i took the leap and i decided that if it has so much potential let's give it a go also one point here is that you don't need to have some fancy app or something like that for flashcards you can simply make the flashcards on a piece of paper as well write the question on the piece of paper on one side and just invert or flip the paper and write the answer on the other side and when you are reviewing them just see the question and then uh, try to recall the answer and then flip over to see if you were right or not this way you'll get a deck of cards and you just store it now let us talk about how flashcards can be used for neat pg i'll tell you how i use them it can be used for firstly remembering the factual information secondly for remembering volatile information and thirdly it can be used for image based questions flashcards are not very good for conceptual information now initially actually i did not think much about this and i just used to make flashcards of any content that i used to get my hands on that left me with a lot of other random flashcards which were based on conceptual information now here's one more interesting use you can also add the questions of the grand test that you got wrong into your flashcards this way you can sort of make it your digital grand test notebook that way the questions that you got wrong are now in your flashcards and they will automatically get reviewed periodically if you go a step ahead then you can also treat your flashcards app especially if you're using anki as a digital 20th notebook with active record and space repetition built in in fact i had initially named my deck as the 20th notebook And that's it for this video. If you're an MBBS and you want to know how to study for NEET PG based on what year you're in, I made a video about it that you may want to see. Also, if you have any questions or queries, you can drop them in the comment section down below. If you like this video, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.